Okay, let's have a little bit of fun. We are going to create a jigsaw puzzle, but we're going to be taking it a stage further by placing it onto a tabletop. Right, the first thing we need to do is to create the puzzle effect. Now we can do that by going from the expert mode. We're going to go to guided. Now with guided, we're going to look up the fun effects. The fun effects, there it is there. There is our puzzle. We're going to click on this. Now for the next stage, we need to select the size of the puzzle piece we're going to use. If I click on small, now this will depend on the image size you're using. This particular image is 2000 pixels in the wider side. It is 1300 and something in height and it is 300 pixels per inch. That's the small. This is the medium. But I think for the video, because that looks quite good, but I think for the video, just to make things a little bit clearer, I'm going to be using the large Next thing you need to do is to select some of the puzzle pieces. So I've now got the one tool clicking down. We've made a selection. Let's go to extract. That's extracted it, placed it up here. It's given me the move tool as well. So I can move that down. Let's pick up the selection tool again. And there's our selection. Let's go to extract and we need to drop that down out of the way. Let's select a few more pieces. You can extract as many as you want just coming down to that area. I'm going to select one more piece. That one will do nicely. And there it is. Right. Looking at the image, you can see the way we've got these lines left. Now, if you pick up the eraser tool, there is our eraser tool. Don't forget, this is a brush tool. You can use the square brackets on your keyboard. Right hand square bracket will make it bigger. Left hand square bracket will make it smaller. I'm going to click right on the edge there, going around this, just quickly erasing that, going right up to the edge again, clicking down on this one, going around it like this. Round we go. That will do nicely. Coming to the edge here and there. Right, next. We're going to go to next, which is going to ask us what we want to do next. And we're going to continue editing in the expert mode. So let's click on expert mode. There it is. We've arrived with a whole load of layers. You will notice the visibility has been turned off on some of these layers. If I switch this one on, you can see the dark outline. This is what elements use to create the puzzle effect. So we don't need this. If I just come back to it, let's just turn off the visibility. The other one is the background here. If I just switch that on, you can see it's just filled in those pieces. So we don't need that. I'm going to use command or control. This one is selected. Pressing down command or control, clicking on this one. They're both now selected. I'm going to come down to the background layer as well. Clicking on that. All three are now selected. Lifting them up. We can drop those in the bin. We can remove them. Next, we need to give ourselves a little bit of space. So I'm going to come down to the layer one. We're now going to go up to image, resize. We're going to go to canvas size. Now with canvas size, when this opens, uh, just tick the relative box here. That, make, that makes things a lot easier. So tick in the relative box. I'm using inches, but you can easily use pixels, centimeters, millimeters, whatever you're comfortable working with. The other important thing is make sure that the anchor point is in the center. Right, for the width, I'm going to add two inches. I'm now going to come to the height. I'm going to add two inches there as well. We're going to click on OK. That has now added it. You can see that checkerboard background. So we're going to come up to edit. We're going to go down to fill layer and with fill layer use and from the drop down menu here, I'm going to go to white and I'm going to click on OK. Using command zero, control zero, we're going to go out to fit on screen and there it is. There's the story so far. Now I mentioned that we're going to put the uh, puzzle onto a tabletop. Now to give us our tabletop, we're going to come over to styles. Now with styles, let's come to the menu here and the drop down menu. We're going to go down to pattern. I'm going to select oak. So we're going to have an oak table, which looks pretty good. Let's go down to layers and there it is. You will notice the little FX icon. It is a layer style. It is still a white background. Now what's going to happen in the next stage, because of what, what I want to do next is to put it all at an angle. I don't want to make it look as if it was taken head on. And if we tilt it, the FX is going to stay exactly where it is. In other words, the layer style, our tabletop will stay as it is. The white will bend but that's not what we want. So what we need to do is bring your cursor over layer one, right click 
and we're going to go down to simplify layer. So we're going to simplify the layer. That's going to blend the effects down and we now have a wooden thumbnail. Right, the next thing I'd like to do is to change the angle, but we need to change the angle of the tabletop, the puzzle and all of the puzzle pieces. The bottom layer here, this is our live layer. This is the one that's selected. Press and hold down shift on the keyboard. Come up to the top layer of the layer stack, clicking down, all of the pieces have now been selected. We're gonna go up to image, we're gonna come down to transform, and we're gonna go across to perspective. Now with perspective, there's the transform tool with the grab handles to each of the corners, top, bottom, as well as the two sides. I'm gonna go down to a bottom grab handle. We're gonna click on this. Now because it's in the perspective mode, when I pull it out, the two sides are coming out equally. So we can pull it into this sort of area here, that's the sort of angle. I am looking for something like that will do nicely. Bring your cursor inside the framework, double click to apply. There it is, job nearly done. Next, pick up the crop tool. Because with the transform, we've got bits hanging out over the edge. I also want to reduce the top down very slightly. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna drag this over like that. Bring my cursor inside, double click to apply. There it is, it has now been cropped. Right, we're gonna to change tools. We're gonna to pick up the move tool. Now with the move tool, if I go down to tool options, make sure you got the auto select layers, make sure that is ticked. Also make sure show highlight on rollover, make sure that is ticked as well. Next, let's come back over. I'm gonna click on layer one. Now when I bring my cursor over the puzzle, notice the way we get that. Yes, this is showing us the highlight as we move it over. That blue rectangle, as I come to the puzzle pieces here, you can see it's also highlighting that. Let's select this one. Let's move that out into position. Let's select, okay, I wasn't gonna do it, but I will now, we've got the puzzle itself. Let's lift this up and make sure you get that blue rectangle, then you can click down safely. Yes, that was the reason for making that mistake, so I can show you what you can actually do with the blue rectangle, make sure you get it. Yes, right, okay, let's move this into position, something like this. Let's move this into position, something like that. Now, looking at the image, the puzzle itself looks extremely flat. There is no depth to it at all. So let's come to the puzzle, clicking on this. We've just shot down to layer two. We're gonna to go to the effects. When we click on the effects, the layer styles, this is the layer style that's been applied to it. We have got a drop shadow and we've got a bevel. We've got a two pixel bevel and we've got a drop shadow. I'm gonna bring my cursor out. Now it doesn't matter what tool you've got. I know we had a move tool to start off with, but it will change to the move tool itself and you can move it out. But as I move it out, notice the way the drop shadow is moving on all of the puzzle pieces. I'll come back to that in just a moment. But for now, I'm gonna just give this just a little bit more depth, pulling it out into that position. Looks pretty good. We're now gonna click on okay. Right, let's come over to this piece here. I'm gonna click down. We're gonna go up to image, transform, free transform. And I'm just gonna twist it around slightly like that. Let's lift it up as well into this sort of position. Double click into apply. Right, now that we've got it, let's go to effects. Now with the effects, I want to bring the drop shadow out slightly. But as I do that, notice the way that we can change it on this, which I don't want to do. I'm gonna click on cancel. So what we need to do now is break the link between all of the puzzle pieces and the background layer. And we can do it very simply, just bring your cursor anywhere over this layer. I'm gonna go just above the text, I'm gonna right click. We're gonna go down to clear layer styles. So clear layer styles, there it is, that's removed it. We've now got a flat piece of jigsaw. So let's go to styles. We're gonna to go to the drop shadow. Now with the drop shadow, you can use this one, you can use that one, or you can use this one here. I think I'm gonna go for this one here. Let's click on layer. Let's go back to effects. Let's double click on that. And I'm gonna zoom in as well. So I'm gonna use spacebar. Now command or control, stay, thank you. Let's move it into this position. And just a little bit more there will do nicely. Right, so looking at the drop shadow, uh, looks pretty good. Let's just pull it down a touch or two more. Let's hang on, move it into that. There, that looks better. I'm gonna make it a bit harder, so I'm gonna move it there. So just making that shadow just a little bit harder will do nicely. There is no bevel with this, so clicking on the bevel, and I'm gonna take, that's got 10, which is a bit too much. Two was the number we, no, that's not enough. 
So I'm going to take it six there. That looks pretty good. Looks like the bevel that's just put around it. If I switch it off and on, you can see the difference that makes. We're now going to click on OK. So all we have to do now is repeat that process to the remaining puzzle pieces. No, you don't. All you need to do is press and hold down Alt or Option. So hold down the Alt or the Option key. Come over to the word FX or the letters FX. Click down, lift them up. You can now see the word FX. That's what I was getting at. You'll also see double arrowheads. Bring it up. Bring it up onto this layer. When I release it, look what it's done here. There's that drop shadow. There's the bevel. Clicking on this one. Once again, holding down Alt or Option, we got the word FX, we got the double arrowheads, dropping it in, in it goes, and repeating it to the top one. Job done. Looking pretty good like that. Right, let's come over to this piece. Clicking down. No, I missed it. Clicking down. There it is. We're on layer four. Just as well I checked using Command T, Control T for the Transform tool. I'm just going to swing that round a little bit like this. Let's just bring it up slightly. That looks good like that. Drop shadow, it looks okay. Perhaps just softening it just a touch or two more into that area there. 910, click OK to that. Right, coming down to this piece here, just going to press the space bar to get me my hand tool. Clicking on this puzzle piece, I'm going to use Command T, Control T for the transform tool. Just going to swing that round into this area here, just lifting it up very slightly. Coming over to that, just double clicking, taking the drop shadow down a touch like this and softening it right off into this area here. That will do. Clicking OK to that, coming up to this puzzle piece, moving that into position. Again, Command T, Control T, just to give it a little bit of an angle and just rotating it and moving it across into this position here. Clicking to apply. Once again, I'm just going to slightly soften that there. Great stuff. There it is. Let's use Command 0, Control 0 to go to fit on screen. There is our finished image. Go on, give it a try. Have a bit of fun with the experiment. See what you come up with. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.